Ladies and gentlemen, we have an alliance. The ACC, Big Ten, and Pac-12 have announced a 41-team alliance that will bring about new scheduling philosophies in both college basketball and college football. This pertains to both, so that is why we will talk about both here. Now, what does this mean? What does this all mean, really? Um... Honestly, I think it's just a counter to the SEC going to 16 teams. And again, like I've stated several times, I don't think the SEC is going to wait until 2025. It's going to happen sooner rather than later. And the Big 12, what's left of the Big 12 anyway, isn't included in this alliance, which leads me to believe that something's going to happen to the Big 12. You know, something's going to happen, just don't know what it will be yet. Um, but yeah, um, new scheduling philosophies and new different ideas. There's all sorts of other things as well, but for more pertains to the scheduling side of things because I follow the schedules. I follow them meticulously to see who's playing who, which year, and what. I don't think, you know, I don't think every matchup is going to draw significant eyeballs like you think. Um, remember. I mean, come on. ACC, it really only right now has Clemson to sink them in college football. They have Duke, North Carolina in college basketball. That's about it right, right now. Yeah, there's North Carolina trying to emerge in college football. Miami trying to come back and Florida State trying to come back. But when those teams are, you know, down like they have been, it's not a good time. You know, Big Ten pretty much the same way. Really good college basketball conference, yet can't seem to get it done in the NCAA tournament. And of course, you know, it's really only Ohio State college football. Come on, I mean, it's been year after year now where it's Ohio State, and everybody else. That's how it's been. You know, every time it seems, it seems like every time you get in Iowa or Michigan State or you know several times Michigan has tried to contend or to Penn State that one year probably should have made the playoff even though they had two losses you know it's really just Ohio State and everybody else and uh, again there's already the ACC Big Ten Challenge in basketball too so that doesn't make any sense you know what else are you going to add you can't have Duke give up all the cupcake games now can you can't have them give them all the way all those cupcake games away. I mean, look at all those cupcakes they have scheduled for this year outside of like three big games. Hmm. Hmm. Cupcake stays real good right now, don't they? Um, and the Pac-12, you know, yeah, they surprised us all, you know, in, in college basketball spheres in 2021, but college football? They haven't been a contender <laughs> over a decade. No real contenders really in the last decade. There's like a Stanford team in there, here or there. There's an Oregon team here and there. There's flashes of USC here and there, but not not like it not like the USC of old. Not like the USC USC of the early two thousands. Not like that team at all. That 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 dynasty of a team. That great team, honestly. But you know, and I mean, there's still the ACC SEC games at the end of the year for college football, and it, it it all just doesn't add up at the end. It doesn't add up at the end. I don't think it's going to be feasible for this alliance to be a thing. And there is a couple other things that I'm thinking. I think, like a lot of people have said, I think this will kill the CFP going to 12 teams. It really should only expand to eight, if not 16 for at least getting everybody in as far as conference championships go in college football. Um, but the only other way is eight, which is the better way for right now until, you know, the egos, you know, you know, the ostriches come out their holes and start to pay attention because it's not going to 16 just yet. I think it, it'll it stay at four until the contract, the current contract runs out. And then it will go to eight. And eventually it'll go to 16 is the way it should be, you know, you know, if we keep every conference, you know, hopefully we keep every conference, you know, who knows what the college football, college basketball landscapes will be like in the next five years, honestly, 
right now. You know, it's crazy right now. And as far as there's another big nugget in the room, as far as lower tier teams, and FCS teams specifically, for college football, for, for college football specifically, what in the world's going to happen to those FCS games? Those games need to happen. I'm sorry. You know, you can have all your bad takes on Twitter if you want to, but those games have to happen. There's upsets on occasion, and there's some really good teams from the FCS facing FBS opponents this year and beyond. So, yeah, I mean, it, it just doesn't make any sense to really try and be like, oh, well, this... We're not going to play FCS teams anymore. Look at how the Big Ten. Look at how the Big Ten tried to do that. That did not work out very well, did it? It did not work out very well when they initially went to nine conference games and tried to eliminate FCS opponents. Did not work out. They need those home games. Did not work out. So that's all I got to say on this. Um, what do y'all think? Just tell me in the comment section below, and I'll see you again soon, everybody. Take care.